Hi guys, what's up? We're Ken and Sheila from Kakao Culture and welcome back to our channel, the best place for cacao and chocolate lovers. In this video, we're going to talk about cacao bean analysis. Specifically, we're going to talk about how to assess the quality of your cacao beans. By the way, the beans that we are referring here are fermented and dried cacao beans. So in our previous episodes, we talked about the post-harvest processing of cacao, particularly the fermentation and drying. If you haven't watched them, please make sure to check them out because we discuss those processes in detail. We've also stressed out the importance of having a good post-harvest process because it impacts the quality of your cacao beans and it directly affects the flavor and products that we make out of those cacao beans. This focus on quality is because of the growing demand of fine chocolate or craft chocolate makers in the industry. So, bakit nga ba natin kailangan tignan ang quality ng ating cacao beans, particularly after the post-harvest process in our farm or even when buying from other farmers? For the farmers and cacao growers, it's very important because one, if you have a high quality of cacao beans, this means that you could actually sell your beans for a much higher price. Number two, the quality of your cacao beans after the post-harvest process lets you know how well you are doing in those processes, particularly in the fermentation and drying. And number three, if you have hopes for export, then international standards for high quality cacao beans is very important. So for chocolate makers naman, it's very important to know the quality of your cacao beans because quality beans means great flavor for your chocolate. Second, quality beans means you have higher recovery rate when you process the beans. We will talk about recovery rate in detail in our next episode. So make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when we upload the new video. Paano nga ba natin talaga i-analyze at piliin kung ano yung pinaka-best na cacao beans for you and your product? Number one, we need to check your cacao beans visually. So titignan po natin ang ating mga cacao beans through its appearance. And by doing so, we could tell a lot about the cacao beans already. So you have to check visually if the color of the beans are colored black, if they have surface molds, this is definitely not good for you kasi hindi po siya hygienic gamitin. If the beans are germinated, ang ibig po sabihin nito is that yung beans ay nasa stage na of sprouting roots. So hindi na po siya ideal gamitin for chocolate making. So you also have to check if the beans are flat, have cuts or damages, or clump together or yung dikit-dikit na sinasabi natin dahil ito po lahat ay defects. Meron ding chance na ang cacao beans na nakuha nyo ay may foreign debris. It could be wood, nails, metal, glass. Yung minsan nahahalo lang sa beans. So ito ay sinusort out po natin during that process. No? So tinitignan natin to uh, very critically during the early stage of the beans analysis. So by checking the cacao beans visually, you could already infer kung ano po yung nangyari sa post-harvest process. So sometimes, when the beans arrive, you might see that there are surface molds or yung pagkaroon ng discoloration or medyo whitening of the beans, which means that it could have not been properly dried or pangit yung pagka-store niya sa kanilang warehouse which uh, attracted the molds dahil maraming moisture doon. Also, by checking the appearance of the cacao beans, you may already infer how it's going to be pag prinases mo na siya into your product. So for example, pag nakita mo yung cacao beans medyo uh, wilted or wrinkly yung skin niya, then alam mo na pag ipaprocess mo, mahihirapan ka sa pag-separate ng shells kasi kakapit yung shells sa nibs. Brown cacao beans that are full and plump, yun yung magandang quality because you know that when you roast it, madaling matatanggal yung shells. So when you crack it, mas madali mo silang masiseparate. Number two, check the aroma or the smell. So checking the aroma or yung smell ng cacao beans during this stage will give us an initial indication of the aroma when we process it into a finished product or chocolate. So, ano ba yung examples ng mga 
positive aromas na gusto natin maamoy sa cacao beans natin. So, aromas that we should take note of na maganda are vinegar, chocolatey or cacao smell, floral, fruity, nutty, caramel or parang malt na smell. So, those are generally good smells or aroma for your cacao beans. Yung mga negative of smells na ayaw na ayaw natin sa mga cacao beans natin are smoky, hammy or parang amoy leather, rancid, amoy garbage, amoy meaty or parang animal uh, smell. So those are examples of smells that we don't like in our cacao beans. The effects such as smoky, rancid, or leather notes may be due to over-fermentation. Other defects or off notes may come off because of improper handling, storage, or drying of your cacao tea. So number three, checking the degree of fermentation by doing a cut test. So most cacao exporting countries have certain standards when it comes to the quality of their cacao beans. And they do this by undergoing a cut test. So iba-iba po ang standards per country or per region when they do a cut test. We will not delve into the very specific details of these international standards but we will give you an overview of what happens and what to look out for during this cut test. A cut test is done on fermented and dried cacao beans and this is the most commonly used method to visually assess the quality of the cacao bean. So, paano ba ginagawa ang cut test? So, the simplest is use a knife and a cutting board. Some people also use pruning shears. And if you want to cut more cacao beans in one go, then you can use a guillotine cutter. So, you cut the cacao beans in half and then you visually check kung ano yung itsura niya on the inside. So, what we want to look at is the color and the fissures. So, ano yung fissures? Ito yung parang mga lines or ridges inside the cacao beans. So, color changes and fissuring inside the cacao beans are two separate effects that happens during the fermentation. So, in general terms, kung ano po yung color inside the beans, makikita na po natin kung how well it was fermented. So, purple or violet beans means the beans are under-fermented. So, light to dark brown beans, okay po ang fermentation. While dark brown to even black beans would indicate over-fermentation. And then, beans that are heavily fissured or yung may mga cracks inside the beans, well-fermented po yun. While beans that are slaty or flat in appearance would indicate under-fermentation. Here's a photo from the International Standards for the Assessment of Cocoa Quality and Flavor or ISCQF. Ito yung itsura ng mga cacao beans na walang fissure, yung figure 1A. And then yung may very defined fissure, yung figure 1B. So please note that there are different standards from different organizations and different countries in terms of the quality of the cacao beans, especially during the cut test. So a certain shade of brown may be good overall. However, through trial and error and a lot of experiments, cacao producers can actually vary their fermentation protocol to be able to find out ano yung pinaka-effective or pinaka-best protocol for them to get that flavor profile that they want. Also, by doing the cut test for chocolate makers, makikita nyo agad yung quality of the cacao beans and then if you work closely, with your source, then you can have more flexibility and more control over the post-harvest process that will directly impact the flavor profiles that you want to develop in your chocolates. So pagtingin natin or pag-analyze natin ng ating mga cacao beans, so yung mga sensory level analysis, yung look and smell, do natin segregate on which beans that we would want to take in or kung aling beans yung gusto natin i-reject. 
However, a full physical analysis does not necessarily tell the whole story. So sometimes, some producers actually get all these cacao beans and process it further into cocoa liquor or kung tinatawag sa atin ay tablea to actually find out kung ano po ang flavor profile of those cacao beans. So in this way, makikita nila yung buong picture on ano talaga ang quality ng cacao beans na hawak-hawak nila. So what we've shared in this video is just an overview on how you can check the quality of your cacao beans. It actually takes a lot of experience, a lot of patience, learning, and further trainings. There are actually courses out there about cacao bean grading, flavor profiling, and sensory trainings on cacao so that you can enhance your skill in checking the quality of cacao beans. So we hope you learned something new in this video and in our next video, Sheila will talk about how to roast cacao beans. So make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when we upload the next video. See you next time! Bye!